Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this Redbubble tutorial, we'll be going over how to organize the products in your online shop using Redbubble collections. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notifications bell, and if you want to support the channel, feel free to hit the super thanks button as well. Redbubble is one of the top print on demand platforms that anyone can join to build a professional online shop and easily sell custom products. In order to organize your shop, Sellers can create Redbubble collections, which are collections of your designs that can be displayed together. You can think of Redbubble collections as little galleries that you can use to showcase your favorite designs. Whether you want to group your artwork together based on a particular theme, niche, or other criteria, collections are a great way to organize and highlight your products. Once created, your collections will be featured at the top of your online shop, so they'll be one of the first things that your customers will see. Each Redbubble user can have up to 30 collections, and each collection can hold up to 100 designs. But in order to create collections, you'll first need to create some awesome designs to add to the products in your Redbubble shop. To create designs for my products, one tool I love to use is the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. With Placeit, you can access thousands of T-Shirt design templates that you can use to create your designs. Simply select a template, and you can edit the text, the colors, the fonts, and even select an image from the Placeit image gallery. Once you join Placeit, not only will you have access to the t-shirt design maker, but also pretty much everything else you need to build your online business, including the logo maker, the video creator, the product mockups generator, and tons more. To join Placeit, go ahead and head over to jasongandy.org or just click the link in the video description. So hopefully you already have some designs uploaded to your Redbubble shop, and now we can go over how to create and manage your collections. But first, let's head over to my shop and check out the collections I currently have. Go ahead and look up at the top right of the page and click your account drop-down menu. From here, let's click on View Shop. So here's my Quantum Designs Demo Redbubble shop. Right under your shop banner and profile image, you'll see the first section is your collections. When customers visit my shop, my collections will be one of the first things that they see at the top of my page. You can have up to 30 collections, but I currently only have five. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you can also see the collections tab where customers can browse all the collections in your shop. Anyone can easily browse and select the collection and see all of the designs that you've added. This is a great way to organize your shop and a simple way for customers to easily browse through your designs. So now let's go over how to create a brand new collection to add to my Redbubble shop. Let's go back to your account drop-down menu at the top. And this time, let's click on Manage Portfolio. This will take you to a page where you can manage all of the designs in your portfolio and your collections. To create a new collection to add to your shop, the first thing you want to do is select all the designs you want to add to the collection. You can use the search bar here to find all the designs that you want to add and simply click the checkbox at the top left of the design to select it. Take your time and select all the designs that you want to add to your collection. Once you're finished, let's look up at the top menu here and click on the Collections drop-down menu. Here's where you can select to add your designs to a collection that you've previously created and where you can create a new collection as well. To add your selected designs to a new collection, let's go to the text field here and type in the name you want to use for your new collection. For my example collection, I'm adding artwork for creative designers. Once you've named your collection, go ahead and click the little plus sign icon on the side here. Your new collection has been created, and you can now click it here to add your selected designs. After you select a new collection, make sure you go down to the bottom here and click the add button. And voila, all of my selected designs have been added to my new collection. You can always come back here and add or remove designs if needed. But before we continue, we still need to edit our collection to make sure it's optimized for our online store. If you look up at the top here, you should see a collections tab. Let's click that now. Here's where you can view and manage all of the collections that you've added to your shop. The order of the collections here will be the order that's displayed on your page. If you wanted to rearrange your collections, simply click and drag them to your desired location. Let's move my new collection to the first spot here. Now when customers visit my shop, this should be the first collection that they see. So now let's finish editing our collection by going up to the settings icon at the top right corner, then click the edit tab. This will take you to a page where you can manage your collection and add a title and description. 
We've already named our collection, but feel free to choose a different title if you wish. Also, when filling out your title and description, make sure you're accurately describing your collection and the designs that it includes. Once you're finished, make sure you hit the red Update Collections button here at the bottom. You should now be able to view your new collection title and description in your online shop. So now let's scroll down and take a look at the designs in my collection. If you look here at my first design, you'll see that it's currently set as the collection cover. You can use any of the designs in your collection as your cover. And to change it, simply click the settings icon on the design you want to use. Then click on set as collection cover. Your collection cover will then be updated and changed to your selected image. If you wanted to remove a design from your collection, simply click the checkbox at the top left and you should see a remove from collection button appear at the top. Simply click this and all of your selected designs will be removed from the collection. If you only wanted to remove a single design, you can click the settings icon at the top right, then click on remove from collection. So I've already created my new collection, added my designs, added a title and description, and set my collection cover. So now let's head back over to my Redbubble shop and see how my new collection looks. And there we have it. My new collection can be seen in the first slot here, right where I added it. You can also see my collection title added to the menu on the left, and the image I selected is being used as my cover. And when customers click a collection, they'll be able to see the title, the description, and the designs that you've added. Another thing to note is that when you're uploading new designs, you can easily add your design to any collection that you created using the publish settings. At the bottom of the upload page, you should see a section called Collections where you can view all the collections that you've added to your Redbubble shop. Simply select one or more collections you want to add your design to, and it'll be added once you publish your work. So that's a quick overview of how to create, edit, and manage Redbubble collections. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.